Hello everybody and welcome to Pignant. If you're not familiar with my channel, nice to meet you. My name is Jessie and I'm a freelance illustrator. Every week I upload videos consisting of speed drawings, art vlogs, and a sprinkling of tutorials. So if you're interested or if you just want a fellow art buddy, subscribe today to stay in the loop. Today, I am not teaching you how to do anything because I do not know how to do this myself. I just want to start by saying I have no idea how to use watercolors and it's been one of those things where it's a medium that I'm very, very, very interested in. And my mom is a watercolor artist and she's been doing it, I think since I was in fourth grade was when she started, which was a long time ago, okay? I just never learned how to paint with watercolor and I've always found it really frustrating and very tricky. I think that's kind of a widespread known thing that watercolor is sort of tricky. So I was thinking I need to practice and I found myself avoiding it because I was afraid. But the funny thing is, that's how you learn. You, you can't learn unless you do it. So you can either sit and be afraid of trying forever, or you can sit down and learn and just fumble through and just deal with the fact that you're going to make mistakes, which I did make a bunch of mistakes. And I learned, I learned a lot though, honestly, just doing this one little picture. I learned a lot and I'm going to tell you what I learned. I wanted to do something related to Easter since Easter will be this weekend. So I was like, what says Easter more than a sea lion? Duh! Another thing that I'm doing too in this video is I've been editing with Premiere and it's been so hard. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I hate learning new programs so much and I've been using iMovie. Since I started YouTube, I've been copying out and using iMovie because it's so easy. It's so much easier than the other stuff. But this wasn't even our decision to stop using iMovie. Our computer was like, that's enough. I swear, I would delete the events, but it archives it somewhere and I could never find where the videos were going. So eventually I would get to a point where I would get an error message about the scratch disk being something or another. So I like literally couldn't, I couldn't make the videos anymore. I'd have to like close out the program and do all this stuff and delete all these things. And when I would reopen it, all of the files would be missing. It was like really stressful but it still wasn't as stressful as learning a new program. I feel like I'm gonna do my best to try to use Premiere as much as I can so I can learn faster because once again, like I said before, the sooner you sit down and fumble through, not having no idea what you're doing, the sooner you get better at it. So there's a lot of things about Premiere that I'm like really frustrated with. And it's similar to watercolor. There's a lot of really simple stuff that I'm like, I thought I would just do this, but I don't know what I'm doing, you know? So what did I learn while I did this? I learned that I need more patience. I get really anxious to just keep going. You know, you fill in a space and you want to fill in another, but you kind of can't do that because as you may have seen, the sea lion's butt kept bleeding all over the place. Wow, that sounded really inappropriate. The paint from the sea lion's butt kept running into the background. In general, that entire spot was just getting too wet. It was just like pooling. I need to wait and I need to be more patient because I don't think you can just paint wherever you want willy dilly, you know, I think you have to actually wait for things to dry. And I've been watching a lot of tutorials on YouTube and that's kind of what's been inspiring me is I've been seeing a lot of watercolor artists that are so good and I don't know how to do it and I want to be like them. My hope is that I can post more videos with more watercolors and maybe you guys will see some improvements in what I do. I mean... I would hope that there'd be improvement if I keep trying. And what I'm gonna do is, so Justin, Justin paints Warhammer models. Justin is my husband, for those of you that aren't familiar with my channel. Justin is my husband. He paints Warhammer 40k, um, Eldar, if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Our neighbor from across the street actually comes over and paints with him because ironically, he also paints Warhammer 40k, which if anybody is familiar with what it is, that is not common for two neighbors to just happen to be into that at the same time without knowing each other beforehand. So he comes over and they sit and paint and watch movies and like chat. And I was thinking I need to force myself to learn how to use watercolor more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint with them, but I'm going to, I'm going to do like watercolor exercises. So hopefully maybe I'll even film some of them but hopefully that will help me out a little bit. So the first thing I learned was I need more patience. The second thing I learned is that I don't like my detail brushes because they're super cheap 
I'm not sure of what size would work for me. I've seen some that have like longer hairs and then some that are shorter and more stubby and I'm curious if any of you are watercolor artists, what is your favorite detail brush? I'd love to know because I really want to invest in like a, a nicer one. I think that'll help me out a lot, but I don't want to waste money if I don't, you know what I mean, and completely get the wrong size. I definitely learned I don't like the ones that I have. I also learned that I used way too much water, pretty much in general. I kept having this problem where the page would, would warp and then different spots would pull up, so I wasn't able to keep it nice and flat like you're supposed to. I think it's a combination of the watercolor sketchbook that I'm doing this in. Obviously I, like, I don't have the pages taped down, so that was one of the problems, but then I just used too much water. So that was another problem. So I think that the sketchbook is going to be more for doing smaller things that require less laying down of water. I'm hoping I get a little better, but quick update on my office. Um, it's coming along. We actually have paint down on the walls. I wanted to have a very, very faint green, like almost like a neutral. It almost looks sort of like white or like a light gray, but it actually has a hint of green to it. So it's really exciting because one thing I also hate about this is that I had to do this at my kitchen table and the lighting is just not awesome there. It's just never that great because it comes from the windows that are like across the room, you know? So I'm really only working with artificial lighting here and I hate that. So I'm really excited about my office because I'm hoping I'm gonna get so much more light in there, but I don't see myself moving in there until summer at least. We even have plans to have like a little spot set up that'll be just for filming, like just for doing projects like this. But let me ask you in the comment section below, if you are familiar with watercolors, what is your number one tip that you could give me? Because I obviously could use some help. Um, I'm hoping to get better. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section below. And let me clarify that when I ask for one tip, I'm really saying one tip. I'm saying, when you first started to do watercolor, if you could tell yourself anything, and it would be like, whoa, that made a huge difference, what is that one thing? I'm not asking you to tear what I just did to shreds and tell me everything I did wrong, because I know I did a lot of things wrong, and I don't need you to tell me. Just be kind, okay? One thing, just one thing. And for the rest of you, let me know in the comment section below, what have you been avoiding because you're afraid to try it, or you're afraid of failing, or you're afraid of the initial pain that's going to come with learning it slowly? I'd love to hear it. Mine is definitely watercolor. Mine is definitely Adobe Premiere. I think a lot of people have a long list of things like that, that if you think about it, you really would have more of them. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next week.